Hello everybody, my name is Dark Xeno, and welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man gameplay on RuneScape 3. This is going to be interesting, I'm trying some new camera things out, and uh, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, let's get on to it. Now, I don't know if I said episode 3 or not, but this is episode 4. Um, <laughs> And we're going to start off, we got 108 pylon batteries right here. So, we're just going to charge this. And we're supposed to get about like 53k XP per 100. So, any more than that is just going to be about 4k. You know, that's fine. It is <laughs> uh, and I go to the Everlight dig site now. Well, you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll just ditch that. Um, yeah, so we got a whole level with that. That's great. Um, but that's not really why I wanted to do that. I, I didn't even think it was going to give me a level. God lied to me. I think it was level specific, though. I don't know. That was some sounds. Um, if you actually listen to a lot of the sounds in this game, it's actually really weird. But we are going to, no, I know I did some um, off camera stuff here. And we're just going to take all this. Let's see how many we can get here. Probably should have threw away the eight batteries too. Okay, so we can get seven. I got... I don't know all I need here, so I'm just gonna do one of each for now. But this all should get me some pretty good XP. I'm actually gonna check what do we got here. Okay, so we do have that. We do have this. Do we got everything? I think we got actually everything that we need. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and restore all these. Oh, there's only one left. I was gonna say, I can only restore one. Uh, the biggest thing about these is we need materials, like a lot of materials. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, we can get all these painters done. 664 XP, though. That's insane. Uh, we can go up to Adamant Pick, uh, not Pickaxe, but now so pretty much with this episode i'm not too sure what we're going to be doing probably just some random stuff getting some levels and all that so nothing too major uh and then i think probably uh i'll let you guys know at the end of the video live stream now i want to live stream some skills and that's also going to be me um recording the skills too so people on youtube don't miss out yeah, I'll need a lot more materials. A lot more materials. But yeah, so I think the skills that I'll be going for are Dungeoneering and Summoning. Um, and then, you know, we still got a whole bunch more to go for. Like, we still got to get crafting up and all that. I do want to go back and do a lot more um, quest. I want to get all these quests knocked out as much as I can. Any quest I can do, just simple sake, it would be so much easier for me. So let's go ahead and bank all that. So we got no more of that, no more of that, no more of that, no more of that. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pretty much just oh, just get all this uh, cleaned off, 
going to throw away the pylon batteries. We can get more later, and they're not really needed for anything. So, be back once uh once I'm ready for all this. Okay, we got some archaeology done, so let's turn in some of this stuff. I do not have the backpack space required. Yeet! Oh, gosh. That's a lot of currency right there. Assistant qualification. All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. We could probably do it again to get more, but we got to go to Varrock now. And the reason why we got to go to Varrock is there's a erosion collector there. Actually, you know what? I mean, we got to technically go to ooh, up here. We got to go to uh, the, 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 the museum. Okay, we just got done dropping off the uh, one of the paintings to uh, what's his face. So there's that. You know, I never really knew what these guys were really uh, like what their importance was. These Zam, not Zamro. <laughs> oh my gosh, these emissaries. Like I, I just never knew. Woo! That was interesting. Oh, an Inquisitor staff piece. That's high level there. Oh. What's this? Oh? Okay. Well, look at this. That gave me 8,700 and so. So, that's impressive. Guys, this might be the most exciting moment of my life. We are now an assistant. <laughs> we moved up in ranks. Yay! Demonstrating the quick understanding. Yeah, it took me a few days. <laughs> Which I like how the quick understanding is just pretty much just how many artifacts you can get. Yay, I am now an assistant. I don't know what I was before. A newbie? I don't know, but something's going on with the monolith. But, I mean, that unlocks our research team. So now we got, what the, now we got that going for us. Woo. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Research, assistant title, access to assistant rewards. Well, thank you. Um, I think I used this on you and I gained a new relic, maybe. Unexpected diplomacy, 10% increased all reputation gains at the heart, farming guild, metaphos, and mascot. Okay, so that's going to be great for us, especially the metaphos and farming guild, but mainly metaphos because I do 100% that fully. Can we? I think we can. Can we? Cost a thousand crown nuts. Well, I got 11,000, so whoop. All right, now it's going to tell me how to research my team. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. With all the art artifacts that I had, I just put them in the uh, the cart for the archaeology guild or whatever. Free. Oh, I got to select my Jimmy. My man. My myth. My legend. 30 minutes. Well, I would have assigned someone else, but, you know. Oh, it automatically does the 30 minutes. Well, thank you. Mysterious Monolith existence oh yeah yeah uh 24 hour what that'll cost five thousand but gave me a lot do i have any special researches i am going to uh go with the other researchers for a little bit i'm going to go back there and see all that but i got these two do but we don't have much materials. I got 300 more out of like 1,100 that we just went through. 300 more was just to get what else we had to fully complete the collections. And then this Tetra Compass piece, I got that a little early on in my little archaeology grind. So that's nice. Uh, we are archaeology 47. I think I'm going to let that rust for now until I live stream it. 
uh, in the live stream, I, I think I got an idea for that. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, but what to do for now? Uh, I don't know. Maybe more questing? I kind of don't want to do questing right now. But then again, it's been a hectic weekend for me. And I'm really hot right now. It's it's like 80 to 90 degrees. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Okay, I forgot that you got to come here and talk to this out of place League of Legends character. And uh, go in their shop to claim not any of this. I don't know what the sheet's for. What the? Uh, oh, yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, go to him, go to or her assistant shop and grab all these. Unfortunately, I don't have enough for that. But, you know, I'll, I'll come back. I'll, I'll continue doing my all my good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, I think I found what we're going to be doing for a little bit now. It's going to be with Wizard Chamber here, and we're going to go into this magical barrier, do some things, earn some points, and not any of this, this, or this, but I want the abilities. I need all of these. Well, not really need, it would be nice to have. Mainly Devotion and the Suka's Wrath, or Tuska's Wrath, my bad. Uh, but everything else... All right. I mean, that won't be really necessary, but this might be occasionally necessary. But devotion is probably the most needed, and this will just help with Slayer. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this for a little bit and get how, how many points is that? Seven. We need fourteen thousand points, right? No, wait. What? We need points. We need a lot of points. A lot of points. Just a lot of points. Alright, so I don't think this mini game's that bad. I mean, you gotta do like a little bit of everything and it's a little weird. But, I mean, if, I haven't done this for a long time. And just like vaguely knowing what to do. Uh, I mean, it's pretty decent. I mean, you could do 1k a run pretty much. Uh, and that, I mean, like, probably about... 10 times <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure i forgot is what i need so what what is it uh that'll be seven and then now we got 10.5 so 14.5 so that'll be 14,500 if i'm not mistaken that i need for the reward currency to get all of this but i think i might have yeah i got emotes i mean I'm not really wanting them, but I, I kind of, what, like, all this doesn't make sense. I just, just give me, give me, give me the abilities. I think the one ability I'm going to go for is Devotion, because that seems to be uh, the best, pretty much, so, yeah. So, I was exploring a little bit, and I found this Mass Cab City, I guess? Um, very interesting, very useful. I would have never expected this to be here. This is actually pretty nice. So I, I just went through the forest. I've never gone through the forest and yeah, we found multiple things. So one of the things I want to show you about this place is actually very interesting and going to be very useful, but I don't know if I'm going to make all the runs here. Uh, probably every now and then if you go to this guy's shop, he sells all this. Which is absolutely, like, look, 1550, that's going to be useful for a while. So I'm just going to buy pretty much everything here. Because why not? Uh, this is going to be my second run of this. Because only a few minutes ago, you know, I, I did buy all this. So I guess it restocks every few minutes. I'm not too sure. But blessing. And he's also a bank. So, I mean, why not? As you can see, there, he does sell more meat. But look at that. That's amazing. Summoning potion, super attack, strength, defense, ranging, magic, necromancy. We haven't gotten necromancy yet, but that's going to be very useful. So, yeah, it's it's amazing. Like, this is pretty much the start of extremes. And then I can go to overloads. So, absolutely loving it. Um, 
yeah, that, that's pretty much all for the clip. I mean, there ain't really much else here besides that. And then the supply run dude over there. And yeah, and then you could start a farm, I guess. I don't know. Speaking of farms, uh, yeah, we got to go check our one farm out. Oh, boy. Whoa. Chickens. Oh, no. Cure disease. What's uh, what's going on? Cost in my face. I'm just going to administer the flu on that one. Yeah. Got to produce. And remove. Uh, Got to produce and remove. Cool. Thanks, I guess. Oh, yeah. You no wonder you guys are all out of food. That's why you guys were uh, a little bit low. Yikes. I forgot that it continues. I uh, checked the head. Eyes? Mirth. Okay, so mirth is wooting call? Yes. And you are. The gums appear to be a little sore. So if the gums are sore, then the feet. Yeah, it's a foot and mouth. And then take these out. And I'll put you guys in here. If you guys ever ask me what my chicken life is going to be like, I'm just going to say yes. Because look at this. Got so many chickens. So many. Oh, yeah. I did get a herb bag from uh, Herbie Warby. Which I still got to do. Crap. Um, but, yeah. A lot of chickens. And I'm going to take all this out. Throw all this in. Ooh, that's a lot of feathers. And I'm going to go back here and we're going to get some levels in farming. Now watch this, everybody. Bees. I love it so much. Look at this. 84, 83, 84 XP per load of this. Oh, we might only maybe get a level, but I mean, it is good XP to just do it every now and then. Um, pretty much going to be my main thing until I can get more beans and all that to help sustain the farm and get it higher and all. So, this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Uh, farming request, not really much here. I need to get these done eventually. So, that's going to be interesting. And there's a level right there, level 49. I don't know what we all get, but ooh, Fairy Tale 2, Cure of the Queen. I uh, may now raise and breed cows and purchase a large pen, which is great. Ooh, not that yet. So, yeah, uh, that's interesting. And it looks like we might get maybe another level into this. So, we'll see about 40, 49 to 50. And there we go, level 50 farming. Civil War 3, so that will be going on to a uh, whole nother quest line. Uh, Avanto, Duskweed, Pet Oasis, Culturative, Cultivate, Iris Bushes, Garden of Karid, uh, Politics at the Garden of Karid. Okay. And uh, Multi Seeding Tier 1. That's interesting. Uh, the Garden of Karid. Okay. So, we got 189 medicinal honeycombs, and that's for letting all this go. And now we got to fill these up with 27 of each. Um, well, all I got is wood leaves because they're the cheapest. So, let's fill these right back up. All right. Well, now we are getting seeds so we can continue to feed our chickens because we are bad at doing that. We did upgrade a little bit in the farm. Bought a medium pen and a large pen. I was going to just buy a large pen and then go ahead and do uh, cows. But unfortunately, we cannot do cows yet because once I bought that large pen, I only had about 189 seeds to play with or beans or whatever. So, yeah, it was not great. So now I'm back to breeding the crap load of chickens that I can and then selling it to the chicken lady whenever she comes by. She was by the day, but you know how that is. All right, so we are going to go ahead and um, do a little something here. First, we're going to train our last two combat stats up a bit more. 
Probably want to get 60 defense. Probably get around 60 uh, strength. Not quite there. Maybe so. I don't know. But we are also going to go for an obsidian cape out of these guys, which is going to be a little bit um, interesting. As you can see, they are a higher level than me, but they don't have much HP. Uh, and I figured, why not try and get some of them? We're going to go for the obsidian cape. And yeah, so, and I think after this, we might actually do some more questing because I have really no idea what else to really do. So, yeah, uh, see you when we get a cape. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to get it as a drop, as you can see here in the loot area. Uh, we got 137,000 total 17 obsidian shards, charms. Uh, onyx bolt tips and a few other things. Uh, the pure essence of our talisman. Don't worry about that. That was from a different thing. But we can go ahead and buy it. Now, I don't have really room. Nom. But now we can. There we go. That costed us so much. I think we're down to like, what, 47k? Cool, but this is actually going to be really great. This is going to be our best in slot cape for the moment. We got 13 magic range and melee damage, 18 armor from it, and necromancy damage. And it's just an all around cape, so we can get rid of the blade storm drape finally. And that also means that everything else is going to take over you know, this is going to take over all the R slots. So, yeah, um, actually that might not be true because I still have to do a little bit of upgrades for the range and magic, which we can go do that now, actually. All right, and here we are about ready to buy the accumulator. We needed the attractor and 75 steel arrows to get this. So let's go ahead and grab that. I will now buy a new accumulator for, okay, well, you know what, I guess the it doesn't matter but we have this now so that'll be the best in slot for um, range so that actually beats what we have we have the obsidian cape on so that beats it let's see damage is 17 and the armor is 25 so I, I mean yeah uh, that's seven plus armor and about what four damage bonus for range so yeah and you can just don't need you uh, okay so we got that now of course we had to buy some feathers while we're here now for the magic okay we are fighting Collodian Collodian Nickelodeon we are fighting this dude and uh, yeah it looks like I'm going to probably die here <laughs> um I said bring two prayer potions but I mean I didn't improve my magic any hey yo all right let's get these off uh, something else. I'm a tough one. What now? Sweet. Alright, well, I'm just gonna... Drink yo here. There was a bank here. I'm gonna do the bank real quick. Okay, and then we go ahead and grab one of these. Now, there's Ceridoman, Guthix, and... Zamorak, of course I am going to go with Guthix. He is actually my favorite god out of all of the gods. So, oh, I also get a cape. Now, is this better than what we have? Yes, it is. <laughs> 25 armor, 31 magic damage. So, yeah, this is pretty much just going to be a melee and necromancy cape. And once I get the necromancy, it'll probably just be a necromancy cape. That, that's about it. Mm. 
And then there is that. And I think I got to buy one. So I'll buy the Zamorak one. Yes, there we go. Okay. I'll say I think I did need to buy one. And I think that I need the Zamorak one for something. I think for a clue scroll. I'm not too sure though. Don't quote me on that. I, I don't really do clue scrolls that much, but I'm trying. All right, and then this is actually the attack rate goes down, but this is actually the best one we have. So, um, let's see. Throw you in here and throw you in here. Uh, get off of this. And then, let's see, what do I want? I need food at least, at the very least. All right. And I think we got to cast this 500 times. Where is it? We got to cast this Divine Storm. Is that it? Is that what we got to cast? I think this is what we got to cast. We got to cast it like 500 times, 100 times. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and do that. So uh, I'll be right back. Well, everyone, this is where I'll be ending the video. I know it's not as short as I would probably like it, but, you know, I'm trying. Anyways, we are going to end it here, and what I'm going to be doing from this episode to the next episode is cutting a whole bunch of wood and doing a whole bunch of fletching, and all this is going to be doing is going to be setting me up extremely well, pretty much for uh, later levels for fletching-wise, uh, to help with my ranging abilities and it will also help me with the fort front three whatever that is um kind of newish content before necromancy came out uh pretty much to the east of varic or varrock and what i need to do is i need to actually get a lot of frames and need to do a lot of wall segments so i'm going to be doing a lot of that uh, getting prepared for it because it is actually really good for scaling So I want to get that done and dusted it out of the way or at least started on it uh, I have been doing my anachronia runs, so I'm slowly building on that and It's just It's a slow go, but Streaming wise, I know I said something about it. I think that um, This weekend I'm pretty sure I'm going to try for that uh, what is this weekend? Uh, calendar. So, yeah, um, the 30th or the 31st, I, th I think I'm going to try for, uh, probably the th this episode will probably come out on the 30th. So, when this episode has come out, uh, probably about maybe two hours after it came out. I will be doing a live stream and that live stream will entail me just doing dungeoneering doing some summoning just some of the skilling stuff I've been pushing off for a bit and that's pretty much how it's just going to go oh geez um <laughs> got a few more teak logs than I've been wanting to but you know it's fine we'll just do that all right um well since I'm here might as well keep going so thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoy and I'll see you all in the next episode where we probably will have more skilling uh, levels up. But I will make sure to record it and put it in a video so people on YouTube won't miss out. Alright. Bye. Well, I'm going to feel like a bad person unless I say this. So I would like to thank uh, the few people that commented on my previous videos. Ariana Frost, AJ hyphen Hunt, JTH hyphen XL1KD. Um, thank you for, you know, commenting and letting me know some things and pretty much giving me feedback on my videos. Uh, also, I would like to uh, note that I am excited about reaching 128 views for episode one with five likes. That is incredible, and I thank you all so much. For that uh, episode two we kind of went down we got uh, 10 views and only one like 
and then episode three we got 15 views and zero likes but i mean what matters to me is that people are actually viewing my content and i appreciate all of you guys that stop by even for like a little bit if you make it to the end of the video great you'll see this you'll probably see it in the next video too uh and definitely on my live stream so thank you all again so much this has blew my mind i woke up and i saw it and i'm like oh my gosh this is amazing so thank you all so much i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart for you guys just like i said just stopping by and checking this out so all right i will catch you all in the next episode scapers goodbye